historic training session uh, obviously the two sides came together how was it out there it looked pretty fun yeah 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 it was pretty fun um it's the first time we've done it you know i've been here 11 years this is my 12th pre-season and um this is obviously the first time we've done it so it was good fun it was good to hang out with the girls and you know we we see each other around the tracks but we don't really get that that chance to really mingle and and play some games so um today was the first and it was and it was actually really good yeah. Do you have any, how's the girls find you? starting to feel like a real family now with, with the whole club? Yeah, it's um, fantastic. They allowed us to train the boys today. Um, yeah, since being here, since the first season, we've kind of been wanting this opportunity and today was a great day and um, hopefully we can get a few more training sessions like this. Sonny, how you been finding pre-season as a whole? Obviously, a lot of talk about the changes that, that Justin's brought, a lot more skills, a lot more kicking. How have you found it so far? And, you know, you've had a fair few pre-seasons now yeah. in your belt. <clears throat> no, that's definitely it. I mean, Justin's brought a lot of a lot of things that he learned from other clubs in, in West Coast and Collingwood and um, definitely skills was the one big piece that we needed to work on and um, he brought a lot of team drill games um, involved in training and um, with that comes a lot of skills under pressure and stuff like that so it's definitely so much better um, our skills our skills have gotten better over time but um, you know pre-season is a long time we still want to try and get fit as well um, as well as work on those skills under pressure. What's, so, the, what's the focus for you this year? Obviously a massive season in 2019, all Australian, playing some fantastic footy. What's, what's next for you? What's, your, what's the focus at the moment heading into another season? Yeah, well, the thing is just, um, you know, be smart over training. Um, in the past, um, you know, I've been, I've been working with my, with my heart rather than my brain and um, along with that comes injury. So this year's been um, somewhat different. Um, I worked hard, but also I was, I've also been smart in my training as well. So. That's the big one, but also trying to get fit and um, push for the midfield again this year, but also um, play down forward whenever they need me. When you say different, is that just managing your load, managing you know, how, how hard you go at certain points of the season? Yeah, definitely managing um, the load, but um, when it comes to training, I do go a bit hard at times, and um, at times I need to use my brain. Um, so I was working with Jason Webb, our, our main fitness guru, and, um, and he's been trying to slow me down in training and stuff like that, just to, you know, I am getting old these days. I'm 29 next year, and um, as I said, you know, I've been here a long time, so just to be smart in my training. Ebbs, for yourself, there's big, big turnover of players from last year. Lost about eight to West Coast, and a lot of new draftees. How's the changes going for you girls? Yeah, it's a, a lot of excitement. Um, we lost eight or nine girls um, to other teams, obviously, but uh, the girls we brought in are fantastic characters, and the young girls we brought in, they're you know, they're not just going to be great players for next year. They're future prospects for you know playing 10 years out of out of, out of here in Frio so really a lot of excitement around the group we're real fit as a group probably better this time than last year so um, yeah we just can't wait to yeah hit round one and um, we're ready to go. It's not new for you pre-season but for these girls it is now that you've had a few years under your belt you sort of feel like you have to show them the way? Uh, yeah a little bit um, everyone brings their own strategies to their own pre-season. Um, I'm a little bit older in the group now, so I'm a bit slower to hit the track, but um, at the same time, I'm fit, I'm ready to go. But yeah, um, just getting these young ones under our wings and showing them ropes and showing what to do and what not to do. Again, like Sunny touched on, it's about you know thinking with your heart rather than your brain sometimes. So yeah, just trying to find that balance with them is probably the hardest thing, but once they have a couple of years underneath their belt, they'll be all right. Who's been in the track up for the moment? Oh, Turbo. You can say yourself. Yeah, I'd say myself, but probably not. Yeah, Tur Turbo, she's an absolute gun and she's um, leading by example as always. And Sonny, for yourself, mate, you lost one of your good mates to St Kilda and Brad Hill on the wing and obviously Ed went to Melbourne. Uh, have you pinpointed anybody you think could fill those holes? Oh, we've got you know, numerous players that can, that can easily fit into that role. You've got Brett Buley who's as, you know, really training the house down. Um, he's a fitness freak, so um, someone like that can easily slide in there. You've got Cam McCarthy that's also training with the midfield group who's you know, got an unbelievable kick. Um, he'd, he'd be someone that's good on the um, on the wing. So, um, as you said, you know, you, you touched on we lost some we lost some quality players, but also it gives the opportunity for a younger player to come in and step up and play some AFL footy as well. And our three young Indigenous kids joined you guys in the draft. How have you found found them? How are they introduced to the club? And how are they going? Yeah, no, they're good. Um, two of them were training here with the Next Gen program as well. So, um, two of them knew us um, knew the players pretty well. Um, I actually had the guys around my house last night, had a feed in that, um, watched a bit of boxing, so um, it was good to get them around. Um, you know, I try and take them under my wing as well, but also show them what to do and what not to do, as I've touched on before, that I've, uh, you know, earlier on in my career, I wasn't doing everything right, but I'm um, just trying to show them what to do to, in order to get them to play some serious footy in 2020. Yeah, you going to bring Cheeks down to training then, if you had them watch him boxing and see if they can go a few rounds with him? Yeah, Cheese already come down to training a few times, so um, it'd be good to get him down here and, 
and do a bit of boxing. I won't be going in the ring with him, that's for sure. You had a good relationship with Liam, obviously, over his time as a academy. Now that he's here and a lot of comparisons between the way he plays and, and, and your style of footy, do you, do you take him under the wing and sort of guide him through? Obviously, going through a bit of a, uh, a recovery from injury at the moment as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, he's a pretty level headed kid. Um, his character is strong, and um, for him to come down here and work his butt off, as you said, he has been injured. Um, what he's been doing in the rehab and, and also with his, with his running, um, he hasn't been running too much, but what he has been doing that I've been watching from afar, um, he's been you know, head down, bum up and, and working his butt off. So, and that's what we can really expect from him until he's ready to come and train with us. And then, um, yeah, as I said, you know, just work his bum off just to, just to get back fit, ready for round one with a safe old waffle. If he gets fit, I mean, you've seen him play, obviously. Do you think he's the sort of guy that can make a immediate impact in his first year? And break into the senior side. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's a quality player. Everyone can see his highlights. I mean, the things he does that, you know, you know, not many people can teach, you're just born with it. And and he's one of those players that go out there and just plays on instinct. Um, I might have to teach him how to celebrate goals a bit more, but um, no, he's a quality player and he's, and he's, and the character is what we need around the house, uh, around the club. Just one on Alex Pierce. Um, obviously, a, a bit of an ups, upsetting sort of update with um, going back in for surgery. It seems like it's going to be pretty touch and go that he'll be ready for round one. How much of a blow is that? We've seen what he was able to do in the first half of 2019. Yeah, I mean, he's just, Alex is a serious defender. Um, he's big, strong, he's fast, but also um, in that he's a massive leader to lose as well. So um, once again, someone's going to have to come up and, and fill his void, but um, he's a quality player and there's no doubt that he's going to come back, work his butt off and also lead, um, even though he's not on the track.